Hello makers, today I'm going to show you how to do a layer change on a Maker Gear 3D printer. Sometimes you want to change the filament or just add a different color to your print. This is how you can do it, just using some basic instructions from G-Code. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is go into your auto print software on your computer, click on the wrench icon, go over to G-Code scripts and ensure that you have under when print is paused section this G-Code that is on our website, link in the description. You're going to ensure you have that and you also want to ensure you have when print is resumed G-Code actually pasted in there. I have some custom G-Code on this file but you'll see that this highlighted area here is what you actually really need. Go ahead and save that and then start your print. While your print is going, you can hit print at any time by going back to the OctoPrint page and clicking on print right below the file name. When this happens, the printer will stop what it's doing as shown right here. It'll stop and drop 10 millimeters in the Z and then the X will park itself And just go back to your Opto print, and now you can retract the filament. Here you go to Control tab, scroll down. Down here, you can see that this is the select tool. It's not enabled right now because there's only one active one. I typed in 50, and I want to retract 50 millimeters of filament from this printer. That should be enough to clear the direct drive, and you'll see that it starts to come out of the top of the machine. Go ahead and pull that out and then load up or reload any filament that you like. I'll go ahead and fast forward through all this. I loaded up a marble uh, filament on, on top of this black VLA. Now you go back to your OctoPrint page and you're going to change this to, I like to do 100 or so, just in case you don't get it on the first try. And then you go to Extrude. Click the Extrude button and then go back to the machine and we'll watch it start to extrude. The Maker Gears, um, it, it bites counterclockwise or anti-clockwise from the right of the filament. And so you, sometimes it takes a little extra time to get into there. You gotta finagle it a little bit. But once it's in, it's in. And then now we're just gonna watch it extrude really quick and you wanna clear that out before you start the print again. Once the printer is loaded with the new filament, you go back to your page and print resume and it should turn back to the orange button. And now your machine will calibrate the Y and the X by going all the way to their home new positions. And then the X will come over to its original starting part, the position it last left. And then the print will resume. You just sit there and make sure that it's got a good bite. Clear off the little PLA or the filament tail. You don't want any uh, flyaways there. And then just watch the print. Make sure it's actually on, on track. This is where you might have some layer shifting if uh, you bumped it or something like that. So just be very careful. And now you just get to watch the print go. It's kind of cool watching that first layer go down on top of a, a darker color. When the printer is done, on Maker Gear printers, you want to wait 10 minutes for it to cool down. Our uh, polymite tape actually allows it to just be released once it's cooled. So in about 10 minutes, it cooled off about 20 degrees to 40 degrees Celsius. So you're able to just remove it and it leaves this really shiny surface on the bottom of your prints. Um, yeah, and then uh, just, you can do this for large prints, small prints. It's very easy, you don't need to pry on anything. So this little flexible T-Rex here, it's got two colors and you know, it's like a nice little demo showpiece. It's a print in place and not bad. And I don't think I've seen any layer shifting there at all. So this is how you change the filament on a Maker Gear 3D printer very smoothly while it's printing. Thanks. Bye.